Okay. Starting with the ears now. So a few different things that we will do is slightly uh, tug on the ears, twist the ears, like turning a dial, one direction, other direction. Um, combining those using the pads of the fingers, of course, for pressing. Um, combining that as well. Let the nerves and let the um, feeling guide your hands and guide your fingers and guide your intention. So if it feels good, continue to do it. If you want to know how to uh, help to coordinate the breath with the uh, massage, on an inhale, you want to apply your massage technique. On the exhale, you want to release your massage. So for example, if I'm tugging, pulling, twisting, I'm inhaling. And then I'll exhale and slowly release it. So you want to stimulate as you inhale and then exhale as you release or disengage. So engage as you inhale, disengage as you exhale. So it's a applying of pressure gradually. You can do that too as you inhale. And then gradually releasing the pressure as you exhale. Important thing is inhale smoothly, exhale smoothly with your um, engaging of pressure and disengaging of pressure. Great opportunity to start to um, build and engage your breathing pace. Establish your breathing pace. So in a way you're splitting the mind. You have the mind at the on the nerves of the ears, as well as the mind on the abdomen mind on the abdomen as you're inhaling and exhaling. So um, multitasking, coordinating, close your eyes to help to internalize your focus and to help to connect to uh, the communication pathways of the body and to the mind. And with the pads of the fingers, also do the um, surrounding area. You sort of hit the temple and the, let's say like the outside for sort of perimeter of the um, ear, the attaching area. And that's nice to uh, massage as well with the pads of the fingers. And it's kind of like, getting into more of a scalpel massage, but that's also a good 
um, technique to utilize. We'll finish that with a, a combing or a brushing of the of the whole head. Inhale, exhale, down, inhale, up, over, exhale, down and out, inhale, up, over, exhale, down, out. Okay, we're gonna visit uh, Four Seasons, regulating the uh, triple burner. So we'll now um, go into our posture and into our spine, feeling the uh, sit bones on the chair, connecting the mind to the tailbone, up into the spine, Lower back, upper back, middle back, neck and head, connecting to the top of the head. Now connect your mind to your abdomen for deep abdominal breathing. Feel your abdomen contract as you exhale. Feel your abdomen expand as you inhale. and settle in and feel comfortable with this breathing pace. Feel the face relaxed, facial muscle, muscles relaxed, shoulders, feel the shoulders relaxed. You feel the muscles that are engaged to hold your spine erect. So you're sitting up straight, posture is erect, lifting and lifting the head to touch the sky, slightly tucking in the chin. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Relax your spine. Close the spine, releasing it to gravity as you exhale. Inhale, feel the pressure of the tailbone against the chair and erect the spine up as you inhale. Lengthening the spine up, opening spine and exhale. Release the spine to gravity. Closing spine. Let the head follow that movement as well. And open the spine, inhale. Erecting and lengthening the spine. And exhale, release the spine, relax the spine to gravity. Now let this movement follow the uh, breathing now. As you inhale, you sit up straight, lifting the head, touching the sky. As you exhale, Relax the spine, almost as if you're practicing bad posture. But feel the spine closing, feel the head following, wanting to follow. And then inhale, open spine, lift the head. Exhale at your own pace. Feel the releasing of tension, feel the relaxing 
of the release. And feel a calm ocean-like, wave-like motion coming from the tailbone through the spine, up through the spine and top of the head. If you're able to see if you can wave the spine rather than opening and closing, simply opening and closing, see if you can softly, gently wave the spine as you extend and lengthen, trying to move the spine um, section by section. So you'll start with your mind at the tailbone, feel the lower back open, feel the movement come through the middle upper back, neck, and then head. And then you'll exhale and relax the posture. Again, connecting down to the tailbone, feeling the spine bowed and the movement coming up, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck and head. Now we're gonna exaggerate the movement. So as you exaggerate the movement, you'll want to go ahead and prop your hands on your knees. And that's gonna help you to uh, hold the spine as you start to exaggerate the movement and you go forward, you're gonna wave up as the spine curls, inhaling, and then you're gonna wave forward as the chest opens. And here you can sort of use your hands to pull the torso forward and use the hands to help prop up your torso and almost use the hands as well to uh, push back to help facilitate the spine wave. Remember, inhale as you posture up and exhale as you release and close downward and forward. Feel a nice, long, smooth draw of inhale coming through the nose. And you can exhale you through the nose or out the mouth. Now slightly alter your angle so that you turn to the side. Maybe a 45 to 60 degree angle. So now your chest and chin and head will face that angle. And then you will return at that angle as well. Helps to have the feet planted. You may even spread the feet out, giving yourself a base. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the organs in the abdomen squeezing, contracting. Feel the kidney and feel the uh, spinal muscles opening and lengthening as well. When you come up, exhale, turn to the other side to change directions. So notice how you change directions smoothly. 
when you come up to the center and you lengthen up, that's the opportunity to change your direction. And by now you should have a really nice, comfortable, smooth, continuous pace. You're not stopping, you're not pausing, you're continuing because your breath's continuing. Connecting the movement with your deep abdominal breathing. And if you're really relaxing too, you might find that the breath really begins to slow and elongate, which then allows the movement to slow and elongate. That is really um, preferable. Let's come back to the center. And now let's zero in on center as we bring the waves in smaller and smaller. Important to have the eyes closed here as you internalize your awareness and really hone in on center as the physical movement ceases, you become aware of the mental waves in the mental body, honing in on that feeling of center. Try to get a sense of where the upright, solid, balanced center line is and hone in on that, close in on it with ever so small and subtle waves until finally you're at that center. Maintain relaxation in the shoulders, relaxation in the facial muscles. A few bre uh, deep breathing cycles here. You want to firmly hold your center line and your posture, but you still want it malleable and flexible to your breath. Now let's go ahead from this center line, begin again to facilitate spinal waves ever so softly in the subtle realms, slowly moving into the physical tissues. And this time we're going to regulate the upper burner and allow the shoulders to follow the movement of the wave. So we're gonna roll the shoulders with the wave. Waving back, that's when you're gonna open shoulders, open chest, big inhale, 
and rolling forward, exhaling, closing chest, rolling shoulders forward. Inhale, rolling shoulders. And exhale, rolling shoulders forward. Let's turn to the side on this one as well. Let the neck be flexible as well so that it can move with the momentum, follow the wave-like motion. And don't forget to open your shoulders, close your shoulders. And let's turn to the other side. And we return back to center. Again, honing in on center line, finding central equilibrium. So gradually bringing in those spinal waves. And with your mind, you sort of register where center line is as the physical movement ceases. And try to get a sense of the feeling where your mental center meets your physical center. And it may take a few repetitions to just hover with small spine waves with the physical, at the physical center as you hone in on the mental center. not holding the breath, breathing deeply, allowing the abdomen to expand and contract freely, and allowing the spine to respond to the abdomen as well. Let's uh, open our eyes if you have your eyes closed. And slowly stand up. I like to think of uh, bringing my weight forward, bringing the hips over the heels, and then almost from a squat, slowly rising. Feeling the weight in the feet, feeling that center line stretch and expand from the dantian down into the feet. So you, now you include the legs. So the mind is now at the feet and at the connection to the ground. And the mind can now travel from ankles to knees to hips to spine up to neck and head and connect the whole central equilibrium 
throughout the whole body. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick restroom break. What I'd like you to do is maybe use a restroom or get something to drink. But what I'd like you to do is as you move about, visit and hold with you your spinal flexibility and your spinal wave. So even if you just walk to the kitchen or the fridge or the window or something, walk with that flexibility of the spine and with the softness of the spine and with your breathing pace that you've established. And we'll be right back. And returning, wondering how that went for you. For me, um, even with my suggestion, it still skipped my mind and um, my mind went to my to-do list, uh, this, that, the other. And, you know, for a minute there, I, I, I forgot even my own suggestion and advice, but I came back to it. And so it is what it is. We're gonna return to, um, let's see. We're gonna do Windlass from the uh, Summer Fall set. And we're gonna establish Windlass uh, using the same spinal mechanism, but starting with one leg forward, doesn't really matter, so that we have a nice full body rocking motion, establishing that from the base. So we're, re, we're, we are revisiting rocking, rocking set from Tai Chi. And now letting the, the legs follow and coordinate with our breathing. And eventually we're gonna work our way to the hands for windlass and if you like you can start to um go ahead and make the hand form for windlass and that's really the only uh engagement in the arms so far because we're relaxing the hands and arms down at the side letting the spine, shoulders, and arms follow the wave-like motion of the body as we're rocking backward and forward.
Well, let's switch sides here so that we keep it balanced. So I'm just gonna turn to the other side. You can switch legs if it helps you to uh, keep your eye on the camera. Inhale as you sit back, inhale smoothly. And exhale smoothly as you sit forward. Soften your hips so that your hips move freely with the rocking motion. And now let the movement start to come up into the torso and into the spine. So when you sit back, you're relaxing the spine just as we did when we were sitting. When you are rocking forward, the spine is opening and lengthening and extending. Let the movement come to your shoulders now. So you can start to open the shoulders with the movement, close the shoulders with the movement. You notice how that starts to engage the arms. Let the arms have a nice long fluid uh, draw forward and back with the body movement. Notice how the arms sort of trail behind where the center moves first and it guides and initiates movement while the arms follow movement and momentum. And then just control that momentum of the arms as you keep your uh, rhythm smooth and continuous. Okay, keeping it balanced, we're switching legs again. Now the movement's coming from shoulders into elbows. So letting uh, circles start to manifest through the elbows as wrists and hands and fingers are relaxed. So let the movement come through shoulders and elbows and relax, release. Engage with the movement of the spine and body and disengage and release. Now let's go ahead and let the movement come all the way into the hands and we're finally in windlass. Let the hands establish the, or sorry, let the hands follow the movement that the uh, center has established. And by this time, you're moving at your own pace, trying to promote relaxation. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Notice how this movement is a continuation of the spine opening and spine closing of the uh, sitting movements that we were doing. Notice how there's a component of spine closing and spine opening. And go ahead and switch sides as needed. I'm going to switch now.
let's return to center where our feet are parallel. And we're doing the movements uh, directly in front. So let's take note of the breathing and pace. So place your mind at your abdomen, feel the abdomen expanding and contracting as you continue to move. Because we're gonna take that feeling of the abdomen into the next movement. Let's go ahead and bring the hands to a close. We're standing taller, bringing the feet in closer. Don't lose the feeling though. Don't lose the feeling of the pace that you established. Try to maintain that pace so that when you inhale now, you're gonna inhale and lift the hands up Stretching up to the sky directly in front of you or above you. Breathe naturally, breathe comfortably. We're going to stretch and inhale, extend, and exhale, bend forward. Hinging at the waist. Relaxing the torso, shoulders, arms, neck, and head. And now revisit your breathing, abdominal breathing, and your breathing pace. Now bend the knees, bring the hips over the feet, roll the spine up as you push into the ground to slowly rise and erect the spine. Bring your mind to deep abdominal breathing. On your next inhale, lift the arms to stretch up. Exhale, extend the arms. And one breath cycle here. Inhale to stretch up. Lengthen the torso. And exhale, bend forward, back straight, arm straight and relax, release, point the fingers back towards the heels, relax the spine, the shoulders, the arms, the neck, the head, and place your mind at your abdomen for deep abdominal breathing.
Bend the knees now. Drop the hips and roll the spine up. We're going to do one more of those. Now go ahead and do this last one at your own pace. Try to do it with uh, your breathing uh, coordinated with the movement. So you'll inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, stretch the arms. When you're ready, you're gonna bend forward, hinge at the waist and then relax all the tissues as you stretch. And at your own pace, come up, bending the knees, dropping the hips, rolling the spine, pushing into the feet and into the earth. Take a second here and stretch your neck. And we're going to finish with foot massage. So we're going to sit down now to massage the feet. Like you to still sort of maintain your you know, qigong feeling that you've established as you've built a, a breathing pace and a moving pace so stay connected to your abdomen as you continue to breathe and you depending on how comfortable the temperature is there you can uh, move your socks and your pants, whatever, what have you. I'm gonna leave mine on. And we'll start at the, you know, at the calf muscles, squeezing. We've done this before. Going down all the way to the toes, finding that, uh, those areas that feel good, a nice, comfortable, stimulation, comfortable pain. And just checking in, checking in and seeing what is communicating to you or wants to communicate to you, what wants your attention.
Now do a little bit of rolling. So I'm gonna grab the calf muscle and the shin muscle. And as I apply pressure, I'm gonna also roll so that on the inside, the muscle moves against the bone and that will help to facilitate a interesting feeling. You can apply that um, process also to the foot as well. You can even roll the foot, same thing as you grab and squeeze, apply pressure. Now let's hold the foot and with two thumbs, with both thumbs, go down the uh, sole of the foot here and now start to get into some of those areas that were speaking to you, applying some gentle pressure or um, whatever amount of pressure you're comfortable with. So when you start to uh, finish the massage and get into the foot, it's better to, re to remove the socks. So let's start with the scratching now, if, you've able, if you're able to uh, you know, get into a nice depth there, we're gonna start with scratching, really stimulate the nerves down here. So you can see I'm just going forward and backward um, from the heel to the balls of the feet in small circular fashion. And I'm uh, clenching my, my, I'm sort of making a crane's beak with my fingers and using the nails. It's almost a scratching sort of movement. Now move that into pounding as you make a nice firm fist. Should feel good, nice comfortable pain, and finish it off with slapping. And finally, brush away.
Okay, let's go ahead and switch legs. And you might need to take a second uh, if the hips are not, uh, if you're, if, if it's cold or uh, if the hips are not that flexible, you'll need to take a second to just uh, settle in the posture so that you can cross the leg over the knee, allow the hips to open. And uh, a nice way to just get comfortable and settle in is to go back to your spinal movements and your breathing and just allow the tissues to open on their own. And then when you're ready, you can start with the massage. So doing the same thing, applying a squeezing pressure onto the calf muscles and the shin muscles, along with the rolling of the muscles against the bones. And you're just starting at the top of the calf muscle, moving your way down. You know, similar to like all of the movements that we do, it's, you know, it's a cyclical uh, fashion. So you, you get to the end of the foot, you get to the toes, and then find your way back to the starting point. And don't forget to regulate the breathing. Still important to um, breathe deeply, inhaling, abdomen expanding, exhaling, abdomen contracting. Now find those areas in the foot, at the sole of the foot, where you can provide more attention to. You can use both thumbs on one spot, or you can just use one if you really wanna focus in. You could even spend some time with the toes and check in with each of the toes at each of the uh, digit points, each of the uh, knuckle um, attachments and go down each of the 
each of those sections applying movement and some stimulation too. So you can really spend a lot of time, especially with as many of the bones that are in the, in the foot. Okay, I'm gonna now do some scratching. Again, making like a crane's beak, using the nails against the skin and moving from heel to toe with you know, small circular patterns. Now with a nice firm fist, so one you're uh, you know applying a nice blunt force to the tissues here, but at the same time you're sending a uh, a reverb, a reverberation through the uh, joints. So you might feel a pulsing and a vibration up at the knee as a result of your pounding of the fist. Last movement, slapping. Now you're bringing stagnation to the skin. The surface area. That's why you, uh, why you start to see reddening is because you see the blood in that zone. And lastly, brushing away. It's good to take a second and just sort of let the feeling establish itself and imprint itself on the nerves and the nervous system. Give yourself something to uh, remember. Also a good data point. And uh, we'll see if anyone has any questions or comments.